Good. Now you're going to learn how to select a unit. Move the camera so that the target in the center of your screen is on top of Sarge. When you've got it in position, press the X button to select it. Not a problem. With Sarge selected, scroll your target anywhere Not on the map problem. and press Okay, next you're going to learn how to use the selection ring. It allows you to select multiple units Not in a, a close proximity by tapping the X button. Each time you press it, the selection ring grows larger. And once you... Not a problem. Select all three commando units. Good. No problem. Now, that's all there is to it. This will work for groups of any size as long as they are visible on screen. Now practice selecting and moving your units across the map using the X button, the A button, and the Y button. You'll notice that whenever you select a unit, it deselects any units that were already highlighted. Next, you're going to use the Add to Selection button which allows you to select new units without clearing the old ones. I'm dropping the other three members of your commando team in. Try to select all seven units on the map at Excellent job. Away. Those are the basics. Okay. Now you're going to learn how to jump to alerts. Anytime an enemy is spotted or one of your units is attacked, an alert is created. You can immediately jump the camera to the location of this alert by pressing the L button. There's a group of cans engaging your units. Watching your camera, you will have to press the L button. Again. Press the L button to jump to the enemy units. Grunts should take care of the tans on their own. You can bring Sarge and the others over to help out, or wait for the grunts to finish them off. Unit lost. Very good. You're almost done. Try raising and lowering the camera by pressing up or down on the control pad. This will give you a different perspective on the map and may help you find units that are hidden or obscured. That's everything. You can stay here and practice what you've learned for as long as you want.
The first combat area is straight ahead. Select all your units and move them forward to begin. Select a unit you want to shoot with. Then Attacking. scroll over a target and press the A button to attack. Destroy all the targets. If you attack with different units, you'll notice that each one fires with a different weapon. And each Attacking. weapon has its own range and firepower. It's important to learn the strengths and weaknesses of each one. Okay. Or you could just hurl them blindly at the enemy. Now try destroying the next row by using your lock on. I'm disabling your camera. Move the C-stick to jump to the target. Then press the A button to fire. <laughs> 